Here I'm back on the KPIs page within Vital Signs for Exchange Serve. I've customized the dashboard to show two counters, RPC latency and operations per second. I can see that I was previously warned that RPC latency has exceeded the warning threshold I had previously set. This counter is of particular interest to me because it's a direct indication of the quality of experience my users are experiencing. I'm going to navigate to the domain controllers page to see how my domain controllers are performing. A poor performing domain controller can have a very negative effect on the latency and experience my users see. If I select the domain controller named DC in the top, I'll be presented with the performance characteristics of that server in the bottom. I can quickly see that Vital Signs has already generated a number of alerts associated with this domain controller. In particular, I can see very high search times. And even more concerning, I see long-running LDAP operations per minute. This is a very good indication that this domain controller is overloaded. Additionally, I can see that I only have one domain controller in the same site as this Exchange server. This could certainly be associated with the performance problems I'm seeing. What I'm going to do now is move Domain Controller 2 from the Europe site back to the default first site name and see if this helps the performance of my Exchange server. I'm back on the KPIs page within Vital Science for Exchange Server and looking at the same two counters I was looking at before, RPC latency and RPC operations per second. I've made the change so the Exchange now has access to two Domain Controllers within the same site. I can see that the RPC latency counter values are much lower than they previously were. This is already telling me that my users are going to get a much improved experience with the two domain controllers than they were previously. If I switch to the domain controllers page, I can now see that DC2 is part of the default first site name, indicating the change I made earlier. Furthermore, clicking on these servers and looking at the performance characteristics below is showing me that performance is much improved. Specifically, I can see that LDAP search times have dramatically reduced and I no longer have any long-running LDAP operations per minute. This dramatic increase in domain controller performance will result in a much improved experience for my Exchange users.